Hi. This video will be the first video in a series about creating your own iTunes U course. Uh, the intended audience of this video is my fellow teachers here at Cathedral Catholic High School. However, if this video is helpful for other people as well, um, I would be glad. That would make me so happy. All right, the first step you need to do is you need to go to uh, what you can see here. The um, address for the iTunes U course is iTunesU dot itunes dot apple dot com slash course manager even though it has um, dashboard in there as well you just need up to course manager and it'll bring you to this login page and then you need to log in with your apple id and your apple id is a an email address okay mine happens to be my work email address but yours might be a personal email address that's fine it's whatever the idea is the id the apple id you use on your ipad when you download apps um, and the password that you type in when you do that, that is the password that you use for this as well. Okay, so if you need help creating one of these um, or finding your password, let me know. But it is something that if you have an iPad, you already have an Apple ID. And once you've logged in, so yours is going to look a little bit different than how mine's going to look right away. It'll look like this, and it'll be mostly blank. And so what you need to do is you need to type in your name here, first and last, title is optional, and then here you'll need to type in your institution. So for our case, please type in Cathedral Catholic High School, type in the whole name. Do not type in CCHS, type in Cathedral Catholic High School. I know that it now looks like it's a part of a drop-down menu, but when you log in your first time, it's going to be a box more similar to this where you can type it in. And then down here, um, you can put some information about your bio, what you teach, you know, things that might be of interest, um, a little bit of background information. You can always change this later if you'd like. And then the one part of this that can be the most tricky is this part right here where you need to put an, an instructor image. It does not have to be a picture of yourself, but obviously that makes a lot of sense. Um, it could be a picture of something else, I guess, if you are shy. Um, but the key is, as you can see right here, the image must be at least 300 by 300 pixels, um, and that can be challenging uh, to do that. If you need help with that, please let me know, and I'm happy to help you um, resize your image. If you use a picture that is not one of yourself, so you can see my picture is just my picture from the... Uh, uh, that the school takes, um, like the website picture, my, my faculty ID picture. Um, if you use something else, you have to make sure that you have permission to use that, that it, it is not, would not be a copyright violation. So it's really ideal to use a picture of yourself. If not, maybe you should take a picture of something, because if you take the picture, then you definitely have permission to use it. I would not recommend using uh, the title, the uh, cover of your book, or something like that, that you might not have permission to use. Once I put the cursor over here, it says, change image and then I will click on that one time and this pops up and what I have is the option where I could take an image from somewhere else and drag it and drop it here and that would add the image so I'm not going to want to keep this one um, and then you can resize the image if you want to okay make changes and stuff uh, or you could do it this way where you click choose and then it's going to show you you know, different folders, and you can navigate to wherever your picture is. I'm going to hit cancel because I don't want to replace um, the picture that I already have. And then once you're done and you've made some changes, and you filled everything in, you will be able to hit save. And then after you hit save, you will be ready for the next step. 